All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I actually did a video before this one, but, um, hold on, I'm just going to turn down the volume a little tiny bit. You guys don't hear it, but I do. Just a wee bit. There we go. Um, yeah, I used the mobile phone and something went weird with it, so I'm going to use the camcorder. Hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll look at it back and forth. I just didn't want to play around with my hands and uh, have a jer herky-jerky thing. It's going to be about a few things, and I'm leaving the best to last as far as I'm concerned. But you guys should figure this out if you, uh, you know, took a look at the bloody title. Um, yeah, so the deadline to get your games, if you want to submit one or more, in these little booklets uh, is this Friday and this morning I did put in my two the one I'm going to be running on Sunday morning will be this one and I decided to call it um, their alternate title or whatever here the East Prussian campaign 1914 so I'll be running that on a Sunday morning at uh, I guess it's nine or eight eight hold on eight nine no, it's nine. Nine, yeah. Nine, nine, ten, nine, twelve. That's right. Yeah, because then, yeah, they always give you an hour break. It's a four-hour time slot. They give you an hour break. Yeah, that's right. And the second game, or the first game I will be running is that one over there. Uh, hold on. I'll move my little doohickey thing, but not too, too much. Hold on. Come on. There you go, you little brat. Um, will be the pocket battles. I know... I said I was going to run, so that'll be Friday at 2 o'clock. I know I said I was going to run the Table Battles game by Holland Spiele. Uh, I am going to bring it with me. It's just I haven't, um, I haven't played it yet. I've only read the rules. And there's a bunch of, as you can see in here, I've got all the, I think I have them all, uh, the expansions. I'm not sure. Um... I will bring it with me, and I'm sure it's going to be, it's going to be played. It's just, uh... This is more familiar. Can Games hasn't been run in three years. Uh, it's a regular that I, pl uh, I run anyways. I just I have to get the third game that I have. It's the uh, Orcs versus Elves. Zoe's husband, Stefan, uh, I lent it to him. He has it. Hopefully he remembers where it is. There's a fourth one, the U.S. Civil War. I don't have it. I wish I had picked it up at the time. I just didn't, didn't clue in. And now it's probably really hard to get. Um, so that's that. Um, oh, and the Can Games dude phoned me up today, which is ironic because, oh, uh, well, ironic in a weird way. You'll see why, because it was um, due to the fact of any special considerations for your game. And mine was, yeah, can I have two tables? And you're thinking, what the F do you need two large tables for at a convention? Uh, it's because when you start taking these tiny tiles out, man, um, these things here, um, yeah, Charles Latora, you may love playing the orcs versus, oh, you, it's all interchangeable, so you can have, like, you know, orcs versus Romans if you wanted. It's all the same rule mechanics, it doesn't matter. Um, but when you start making your army out, it takes up a lot of real estate on the table. So, uh, this is the first year, actually, they've actually... So they've responded. Usually uh, it doesn't really matter on a Friday afternoon where they put the, the board games. Uh, it, it's not a big deal. Uh, I usually can uh, deal with it. Um, so that's the one thing. I am going to... Oh yeah! Uh, a microphone supposedly is going to be arriving tomorrow. That'll be supersonic. Uh, due to the fact that I can now use this thing that's recording and the microphone at the same time, hopefully for StreamYard, because as you can see, the zoom on this is pretty sweet. So you can imagine what I'm going to be able to do with the map that's on my wall for the Saturday live streams. And we can zoom right into another thing we'll talk about, which is the postcard jam in a second. And you can see my... That's the remind. It's about a postcard size. And that's... Uh, our dog Marley, um, when uh, we were all going for a walk in uh, the woods near us, uh, she now um, well exists in our backyard, just not in that form. Um, it, yeah, for the postcard jam. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to talk to you about this? Not really, I don't think the can games thing. Uh, the table. Okay, so we're good there. Postcard jam. I am going to, I hope to God, I can submit something. I think it's April 1st. 
uh, to submit something for uh, the postcard jam. It's going to be difficult. Uh, it's going to be obviously conceptish, and I better zoom out now because it is about the book there too. Um, right over here. Hold on. I do have a, a gazillion ideas, which uh, look, I'm not a Mr. Brilliant here, trust me. But um, there's only one other person on the planet that knows all my little funky ideas that I would like to do. But that'll be for next year, next year's submission. That gives me a whole year to figure out something really nice. Um, that'll be awesome. For this year, obviously, keep things simple, 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 simple. But I want to do something World War I related. And I always, I am, well, always. Um, once I read the third battle of the Asanzo, I was thinking, man, this is a really cool, it's, there's a lot of drama in it, um, so on and so forth. I really uh, was hoping to God that Der Weltkrieg had a, a scenario for it. Nope. I don't think anyone does. Um, it's got my favorite general, Berevich, in it. Uh, like, come on. So I'm just right now, I'm trying to figure out some way to make a game with that. And I'm thinking, should it be tactical or a bit more whatever, but yet again, it's got to be as simple as flipping possible. Um, I also think I figured out a way of a workaround not having to spend more money to um, uh, get multiple cameras in StreamYard. I'm pretty darn sure. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm almost 100% positive, so that's awesome. Oh, I wanted to show you on a side note. This is from Irregular Miniatures. These are rules for uh, their little tiny uh, Napoleonics um, thing. So you can see this is all just not even on index cards. So there you go. Speaking of which, uh, I'm a patron for Little Wars TV, and they have a thing, a poll they sent out like, oh, what kind of criteria do you think should be for our travel battle challenge or something? And it has to fit in like, you know, uh, uh, not carry on luggage or maybe carry on luggage or something. I don't know. It doesn't matter. You know why? I got 98% of it done already for Christ's sakes. All they've done is m motivate me to finish off this bit. Um, I don't know if you guys remember in a previous video, but I've... These are all these three deep printed and then, you know, I, I made my little doohickey dudes. Um, there. There's the Red Army. Um, so they're done. So the army's done, for Christ's sakes, and they said in the challenge, oh, by the way, you can use uh, free rules. I'm like, well, that, I'm already doing that anyways. <laughs> so, well, so that's that. Um, so there's my blue guys. So they're all done. Everybody's, you know, I've got, and it, they're so tiny, you could see whatever the hell I could say. That's seven years war, Napoleon, who the heck cares? Um, so <laughs> whatever you want, man. Um, and then I made, you know, also these modular tile things. I wish I had at the time. I just wasn't thinking. Um, you know, done the... Um, I'm glad in a weird way it's not um, uh, hex-based anymore. But I wish I had done maybe a bit more of an ASL approach. I mean, these things are labeled in the back, so you have to kind of connect the dots. But this is just... Um, I dribbled on PVA glue and then uh, sprinkled that blue craft sand you can get and so on and so forth. Whatever. And this is, you know hobby store flock whatever but uh, had some fun that's but it's all plastic uh, super lightweight and like I said I've always wanted to pop it in or make a little travel game so I'm like guys you have already and this is this thing I found at the thrift store way back when I took out whatever the, it was like some art stuff pastels and pencils and whatever I stripped it out and then so in other words what I'm saying they've already Trust me, I can make maps. Um, I know how to affix things. I know how to do all kinds of things. Um, I can easily fit those buggers in here, rule system. Oh yeah, and you supposedly will get bonus points if you can do things like pimp out, you know, make it really attractive. Uh, do you know how, I know how to make stickers, like you can, you know, you can shake a stick at basically, so it's so on and so forth, so I'm like, this is easy. Yeah, I'm super. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do that for sure. Now, uh, have I finished? Uh, I did mention the microphone. My upcoming holidays. I've only got one more day tomorrow. 
Ka-ching. I'm going to be doing some what I call uh, StreamYard training, just trying to figure out all kinds of things. But here comes the biggie. So this is my first um, Tannenberg uh, journal. And you can see here, this is the first time I played the introductory game. I don't know if you can see that. So February 5th, so that's already passed. But then I played, started playing the big table game, my uh, mini game, on the 25th of March. Which so happens to be super duper happy for me. Uh, Saturday, a Saturday for crying out loud. So I can have my one year birthday on a Saturday and have a special live stream event for that's I'm super duper ultra happy. But here's the kicker. I can have two. You know why? Because I checked my YouTube uh, videos and I didn't start filming or posting until the 5th of April. Which is a Wednesday. So I'm going to take that day off work. I'm going to have two birthdays. And if you don't think I'm not going to want to push the boat out and um, max out my corny over the top stuff, you're out of your flipping tree. Uh, oh yeah, uh, so any ideas you can think of or like throw them out because of course I don't have a community tab for some bizarre reason. Um, but I want to have a lot of flippant fun. Um, yeah, I mean I'll, uh, two maybe. I can have uh, maybe one a bit more serious, you know, if you know what I mean. And then have one just whatever the heck happens, happens. I don't know. <clears throat> This is going to be super duper ultra cool. What a way to start the, uh, my holiday vacation things to be able to start thinking about all kinds of funky things like this. Can games, I've submitted the games for that. Done. Um, I got to start thinking about, like I said, all I've got to do is I've got 2% left to do. Everything else has been done for Christ's sakes. Uh, yeah, it's the postcard jam stuff. Um, then I get to have my big soak. Um, Big soak, and then Sunday with Spence and Gable coming up, and my birthday. And I hope to God you guys get to celebrate or want to celebrate it with me. Yeah, I'm inviting you to my birthday party. Well, I'll, I'll put out a, a proper um, invite for sure. That's for sure. Okay, and now I'm getting ready to go and hang out at the Not J live stream thingamajig. Bye.